Good afternoon and welcome to the January 4th, 2011 joint meeting of the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Housing Authority. And we have roll call for the council, please. Council members, Draymond? Here. Friedman? Here. Montero? Here. Weaver? Here. Mayor Najarian? Here. Roll call for the Housing Authority. Authority members, Draymond? Here. Friedman? Here. Nancy? Here. Najarian? Here. Razian? Here. Weaver? Here. Sheriff Montero? Here. Here we have your report. The agenda for the January 4th, 2011 joint public meeting of the Glendale Ho uh, City Council and the Glendale Housing Authority was posted on Thursday, <coughs> December 30th, 2010 on the bulletin board outside City Hall. First item. For you today is the City Attorney regarding issuance of subpoenas in matters pertaining to Advanced Development and Investments, Inc. and Pacific Housing Diversified, Inc. At 1A is authority resolution authorizing city attorney to issue subpoenas pursuant to health and safety code section 34318. Thank you. Mr. Garcia. Thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Mayor, members of council, Mr. Chair, members of the, of the Housing Authority, Mike Garcia, Chief Assistant City Attorney. The item before you today is a request uh, that the Housing Authority, under the powers granted to it by the Health and Safety Code, authorize the City Attorney to issue subpoenas in the matter of Advanced Development and Investment, Inc., or ADI, and Pacific Housing Diversified, Inc., or PhD. ADI is the general partner of development partnerships for four affordable housing projects in Glendale, each of which has received financial assistance from the Housing Authority and an award of federal 9% tax credits from the California Tax Credit Allocation Committee, or TCAC. PhD was the general contractor for, on each of the project, projects and is wholly owned by the, the owners of ADI. The four projects at issue have been completed in the last four years. Since February of 2010, ADI and PhD have been under a court-appointed receiver uh, in connection with marital dissolution proceedings in, uh, involving ADI and PhD's two shareholders. In September of 2010, the receiver's representatives informed the city attorney's office and housing authority staff that in conducting an audit of the Vassar City Lights Project at 1814 Vassar Avenue, they discovered what they believe are significant irregularities with respect to the budgets and contractor and subcontractor invoices uh, on, those, on that project. Among other things, the, reg the irregularities include allegations of inflated project budgets and the creation and submission of inflated or doctored uh, invoices. The receiver is in the process of conducting an extensive forensic review of that project as well as the other projects that ADI has, has uh, uh, developed, uh, not only in Glendale but throughout California. And uh, the city staff has been cooperating with the receiver with respect to the Glendale projects by providing uh, the invoices on the projects and other relevant information. The Housing Authority will uh, be conduct undertaking its own review of these allegations to determine the existence and extent of fraud or false claims or any other unlawful or inappropriate activity by ADI and PhD. Um, as a result, uh, California Health and Safety Code Section 34318 authorizes the Housing Authority to issue subpoenas for the production of books and records. To assist in its review and investigation of this matter, we request that the Housing Authority authorize the City Attorney to issue subpoenas to obtain records in possession and control of ADI and PhD and any affiliates, subsidiaries, and subcontractors of those entities. With respect to the receiver, he has indicated cooperation with respect to the ADI and PhD records uh, within his control and uh, 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 will agree to provide those records upon receipt of a subpoena. Uh, that concludes my report. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that the Council or the Housing Authority has. Thank you. Are there any questions at this point? Uh, I have a question, yeah. Mr. Garcia. So, I mean, the whole point of this is to uh, permit us to begin collecting information, uh, documentary uh, information, evidence, et cetera, where we can then assess what the next step should be. Um, Correct. Is there any, uh, in your typical criminal fraud case, uh, victims are often uh, ordered to be paid restitution uh, as a term of the, uh, the judgments and the sentence. Is there any benefit to uh, just piggybacking onto a, uh, any other sort of uh, prosecutorial agency's investigation and just be, you know, let them know that, hey, we're here, we feel that this is what our damages are. Uh, you guys carry the ball forward and just add us on the list of 
uh, victims that would be presumably uh, offered restitution that's at the end of the case. Mr. Mayor, uh, members of council and housing authority, that's certainly an option that would be available to the housing authority. It's probably something we'd want to discuss as we get additional documentation. Um, I, I will tell you that, uh, that that's something we could do, but the, at, at the end of the day, you're, you're subject to the <laughs> desires and whims of the prosecutors handling that case as far as how far they want to push the individual um, things. Obviously, they'll take great, great uh, consideration of that, uh, but you're in essence, deferring to somebody else. Right. So they would be the ones making those policy or prosecutorial decisions as to Correct. pleas or prosecutions, uh, as well as the judge uh, presumably right. making the And that was going to be something I would add, um, Mr. Mayor, is that ultimately, even if the prosecutor, prosecuting agency uh, engages in a plea bargain, which includes restitution, sometimes the judge enters the order as restitution through a civil judgment. And so my, my recommendation would be that we follow up on that option, but we not uh, we not use one or the other exclusively. That we move forward uh, at, at as many levels and at, at, as as many uh, opportunities that we can uh, to seek information and to move, move provide you with the information you need to make further decisions. Okay. And as this works its way through, um, whatever information is obtained will be uh, briefed on in the appropriate forum. Yes. In terms of uh, potential monetary damages, would we be first in line or we would be after the state funding agency? Where would we be? That has yet to be determined. Uh, with respect to civil parties who are filing civil, yeah, it will be sort of the first in line type of issue. To the extent that uh, in the federal uh, agencies are prosecuting uh, for anything related to tax fraud or tax evasion, those sorts of things, typically those are, those are first in line. Right, from the available funds. Correct. If the receiver leaves any in the <laughs> estate, in the race of the, uh, the company. Just kidding, Mr. Pasternak. I'm sure you're doing a very good job. I have a card from uh, Mike Mohill. Three minutes. Good afternoon, Mayor Nigerian and Council Members. Well, well, well. What an interesting weekend we've had here. I'd like to first of all thank uh, Ms. Melanie Hicken from the uh, Glendale News Press for an outstanding report in the Glendale News Press and the Los Angeles Times. I guess when I was here last time, I talked about my friend Mr. K. You know, that's uh, Hachik. Can't always have a problem pronouncing his name. Hachik Zagarian, one member here on the council, said, eh, I must be talking about Santa Claus. I guess I wasn't talking about Santa Claus, was I, Mr. Draymond? And here we are today, and right now this council is wor worrying about what the city restitution the city can get from ADI. My question is, as a taxpayer, when we find you, your conflict of interest of taking money from developers and then voting yes for their development project, and when they want more money, you say, write the check, go ahead. What, is, don't, what do I get as a taxpayer, as a voter, against my five councilmen who have always taken money from this company called ADI? The mayor acts shocked, shocked, shocked. Just like when the bonuses came up last week, city bonuses, and shocked about the, the gift cards. Everybody here is in shock, but the people know the truth. And the Glendale News Press and the LA Times has just touched the surface. And now we're also getting information from Mr. Draymond's favorite wire service, Vanguard. Barry Allen. He tells the truth, folks. Remember the name, Barry Allen Vanguard, because with him and the Glendale News Press, the truth will set you all free. And come April of this year, Hopefully, we'll find some new councilmen up there who are more concerned about the taxpayers rather than your own personal interest. I've been coming here for three and a half years, and it gets worse every month. First, it was the pensions and the bonuses, and now it's ADI and the housing projects. What will be next over the next several months? 
thank you, Glendale News Press. Thank you, Los Angeles Times. Thank you, Vanguard. Thank God we have a press that's willing to take the initiative and protect the taxpayers. And there'll be more tonight. I've only just begun. Thank you. I don't have any other cards uh, on this item. This is a uh, authority uh, resolution, so I'll let Mr. Quintero take it over from here. Need a uh, motion? Mr. Mayor, a second. Mr. You at the other end. <laughs> to chair. chair, I'll move 1A. Your roommate. Second. It's the beginning of a new year. Okay, any other comments? Roll call. Authority members, Raymond? Yes. Friedman? Yes. Mincy? Yes. Majarian? Yes. Barazian? Yes. Weaver? Aye. Eric Quintero? Yes. Move to adjourn for the authority. Second. We are adjourned. Oh, the authority. We are adjourned. For council? Second. Weaver? I move for Ocean. the uh, Mr. Draymond seconded. Council. Yes. We are adjourned for council. Okay, we'll now move to the regular meeting of the